Warning, this video may contain graphic content, such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Please be over 18 to view this, and don't say we didn't warn you little sinners. Endlessly searching for an original sin. Why am I here for more of this? Nooga booga. It's because we love the fans, I think. That and we are apparently fa- I really need to stop making that joke. Yeah. Hi everybody, we're doing more Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. I hate the name of this game. <laughs> that one's so great. So should I- should I spoil- spoil something? I think I will. The actual writer of this game contacted us. Oh, and begged yeah. us not to do any more. And I'm going to say this because apparently he does watch these videos. Everybody oh, no. starts out cringy. But you fucking put this up and it is still up for 25 bucks. So you are not that embarrassed. Go put it at $1.99 if you're that embarrassed. Since you have it up at that much, we're going to keep doing this. Yeah. And he did actually give us a copy of Max's Big Bust because we have had people requesting that one. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, and like I don't all know about that game. It should work as a cop, so I can only see it like some sort of detective thing. Really? Because like, you look at the fucking image for the front of it, and it's uh, shrine maidens. It look like like Japanese. Oh my god, you're the writer is a weeaboo, isn't he? Well, again, like all I've seen is like that that trader thing that's on the on the Steam page. I don't know nothing about the game. And now uh, you know Moko's fetish, and it's bad video games. For anyone that's wondering. Yeah. He's not denying it. I forgot what voice... Oh, yeah. Um, hi. I'm, uh, Yale. And the explosion turned me into a girl as well. Hi. This is, uh, Triple... I, I, I wanted to make a, a, um, an AA joke, but I don't know if I could do it without actually getting in trouble on YouTube. No, probably not. Probably not risk it. Oh my god, he's adorable! I will punch you in the gut! I know, right? <laughs> oh no, not Diva. <laughs> so freaking cute! I hate you both. Can I go sit down now? Oh my god, they are doing this like um, an alcoholics meeting. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Yale. Yeah, that name. It's what weird. I sat down yeah. and watched the rest of the girls reintroduce themselves. A few of them were pretty embarrassed about their new forms, so it took a while to get through everyone. This is called shock. <laughs> that, that sounds incredibly rude. I have. I, I imagine there's just one person in the back plotting. God, I hope there's an ending where it's just someone goes psycho. Other than, other than, uh, what's her, Dina. Dina's already psyched. Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty interesting, though. Some of the transformations were simply incredible. There were giant boobs and weird hair colors everywhere. I still want the <laughs> genetic explanation for the hair. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the, the most incredible things in the world. Giant tits and weird hair. Rainbows. If, okay, if we, if there's somebody with rainbow hair... I'm putting this fucking headset down. I'm done. Please, God, don't do it. In fact, most of the lab victims had turned out really busty. Hey, uh, developers? Did you guys have a thing for big busts? Don't look at our scientist character from the comic, please. I was glad I had managed to end up having rela relatively normal-sized breasts. For now. Interestingly, it turned out I didn't need my glasses anymore. The reason for this happening was just as bizarre as my sudden gender swap. But at least I didn't have to worry about my glasses falling off my face anymore. Because glasses are not sexy on a person, of course not. Apparently not, and apparently this character is so inept he doesn't know how to fit his glasses properly? I understand. Now, now I know what the, what the equation of the hair color is. They added spider DNA and, and chameleon DNA, like... It, he's Spider-Man without all the good old parts. 
<laughs> Spider Woman. <laughs> according, damn it. According to everyone else, I looked super cute without my glasses. <laughs> I, I feel bad for the poor person in the background going, I still have a fetish for glasses, you fucks. I, I'm... Oh, good, that character's back. The insulting one. They just wouldn't shut up about it. And it was starting to piss me off. Most Mary Sue fucking... Okay, usually girls write this Mary Sue. Bravo, dude. I've only seen girls usually write this fucking Mary Sue. This is why Australians scare me. Oh no, that explained it. Never mind, he's Australian. I know I looked cute and fluffy on the outside. Ow. What? Fluffy means he's heavy. That's fluffy. Yeah, I was about heavy. to say. Yeah, it's not like the type of gay so like a, like a bear. Uh, like a, when a dude, when a dude, when a fat man is gay, he's called he's referred to as a bear apparently. Yeah, and fluffy means heavier. So okay. Yeah. I know I looked cute and fluffy on the outside now, but I was still the same old y'all on the inside. Yeah, However, a 19 year old virgin. <laughs> people are never getting laid, let's face it. Except two of them, apparently, and they had to lay themselves. Yeah. However. With each other. <laughs> well, they did themselves and then each other. However, yeah, I had to put my lesbians. rage aside. No, no, you have every right to go full on Hulk on these people. Actually, I, I just realized, like, the whole uh, Lynn and Dina thing, like, it. it God, fucking weird, like, first they both uh, made it to masturbating to each other, and then they just decided to go start dating. Imagine if I did that, like, went up to someone and was like, I saw you in my dream last night, and then I fapped, wanna go out? And they, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd fucking get smacked until I was like, No, you'd yeah, be in sure jail. Fine. Yeah, like, kinda odd, but uh, me and Shoulder tried. Yeah, no, that's not how it happens. I don't, I don't think, I don't think the writer of this has ever been on a date. Or, I don't, I know he watches this. At least I'm. Ho I we know it is a guy. I think I've seen the thing about him. Um, I'm gonna go back to reading now. However, I had to put my rage aside <laughs> and focus on the task at hand. I wasn't the best scientist in the bunch, but I could help with basic stuff. And any work I did would help the others research a cure faster. With that in mind, I tried my best to help out. So my question again: If the developer's embarrassed about this, and I'm not, I'm not picking on him. One, why is it not on Steam for free? Two, embrace your cringe. Just embrace it, man. You know, like, we, we never ever insult the writers and artists, we just insult the games. Yeah, I'm not insult. that's why I'm kind of making this known. I am not insulting the writer, I'm not insulting the artist. I do know the- everyone starts out somewhere, be it writing, art, what have you, programming, what have you. So, people need to understand now when we do these videos, we're not insulting these people. We're making fun and we're overacting. I, I feel like we have to say that because of how people have been acting about this game. Well, according to the comments, yeah. <laughs> yeah, according to the comments, it's turned us into feminists. It's because you summon feminist frequency, isn't it? Probably. But things didn't really work out that well. Dude, imagine if you could get one of those people as a co-host, like a guest star. Oh, I would pay so much money to watch them rage over this. Look at Anita Zakisian just coming in. She wouldn't know how to click the button to make the thing move. I, how do I do this? I'm a gamer, guys, and I don't know how to make this work. I don't care if I get demonetized for that joke. Fuck you all, it was funny. Oh. It's a female dark side, Phil. <laughs> Guys, I'm pushing buttons. Give me money so I can make games or oh I can make God. videos about how how Zelda is offensive. I'm like, dude, I can't I can't play the game. There's bug button mechanics on my mouse. Games are too hard for women to play. I'm not kidding. That was something that's been said. Yeah. Hmm. Sad. Uh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you hurt yourself again? Yeah, I'm a bit shorter now, so I keep bumping into things because I misjudge distances. I've hit my elbow in the cupboards at least a dozen times now. Tell me about it. I've been trying to carry test tubes and stuff, but my boobs are so big and my frame is so small that I end up losing balance and falling over. And I'm even shorter than you are. Then get your boobs reduced. 
I also like if you look at look at the way with 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 Dan Spess right now. Like, look at fucking how scrawny his arms are compared to his tits. He is basically fifty percent tits. <laughs> no, that's ninety percent tits at this point. No, no, no. You're <laughs> right because the rest of it's probably hair. Yeah. And a massive ass too. If you look at the the way the right, the, the, yeah, no, the that's code, a weird code. body. That's not an un that's a really uncomfortable body type. Your back's gonna hate you. Boobs yeah, are I mean, so that's, that's all you... <laughs> Mean. That's not even the not wrong. Yes, yeah, sure. Mm. Tell me about it. But hey, at least you look cute. Can someone just give us a fucking cute counter? I'm just... Ooh. I need that icon. That needs to become an icon for the channel now. Oh god, the hands. Ooh. Why do people keep saying that? Because all of you have terrible taste in women. It is the claw. I am the claw. Aw, so cute. I'm not cute. Sir. Today has got to be the worst day ever. Yeah, no, that's an understatement, honey. Yep, pretty much. Nonchalant, little fucker. Do you think well, we're me... going to be stuck like this? I really, really hope not. I don't think I could cope with this body for the rest of my life. Lawsuits, just saying. Yeah. At least you don't have two massive melon, melon boobs on your chest to worry about, though. Breast reduction. Yet. I mean, we know what Dina's gonna do to, to Yale, sadly. So. God, imagine if she did it to Dan. Oh my god, no. <laughs> it's returning to a horror game. If I take a single step, <laughs> it sets off a chain reaction of super boob jiggling. It throws me off balance and makes it impossible to do anything. You can, I, know, I know he doesn't have a bra, but like I'm pretty sure a lab like that will have some tape or some surgical things you could like to pat them down or just you know wrap them in Get something. Get some damn duct tape. Or... Yeah, or he, that would probably hurt. Like, but a bandage, yeah, bandage maybe say, some, yeah. some sort of. I've had to do that for horse riding. That's all you got to do. Yeah, at least you look yeah. cute. At least you look cute. <laughs> Don't like it when it's thrown back at you, do you, Dan? I have that one coming. Okay, that's fair enough. That's actually good writing. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get used to my new form. I was weak and girly now. Fuck you. And I hated it. I was desperate to get my old body back. I like that we keep getting fucking insults at women in this one. However, the research team was working very quickly. Being turned into chicks didn't really seem to hinder their performance much. The, and judging by the conversation fragments I was hearing here and there, it sounded like they were making great progress. They're plotting the death of the two that did this. Yeah. After a few hours, we figured out how to turn the lights on. After a few hours of cleaning, I was approached by Liam. I was hoping he'd finally found a way to get me out of this ridiculous body. Oh my god. Punch him in the dick. Thanks for cleaning up, Yale John! The lab is looking great! <laughs> Yale John! Yeah, because you're so kawaii! You're really lucky you didn't say that. Yeah. I'm not cute. Yes, you are. What if I called you Linda, huh? Being cu called cute names isn't fun. Linda's not a cute name. Yeah, like, do 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 women called Linda actually get born, or do they just appear out of the nether? They just appear out of the nether. Hmm. Actually, that might work. What? Linda? No, just Lynn. Has a nice ring to it. How, did we, how the fuck did you get Lynn out of Linda? Well, I would uh. think Liam. Lynn, that's where he got it from, but who knows at this point. Yeah, how do you get Dick out of Richard? Yeah, that is a good question. Yeah, you always come nicely. Hmm. 
Yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm well stuck in this buddy. Yes, call me Lynn. I got your lawsuit. Why? Well, my heart doesn't look like a Liam anymore. I guess. Technically, this is just a repeat of episode one, isn't so it? So we can skip and... Actually, let's do that. Let's skip till we get some new data. Nope, it mm. won't let us. Oh, no. Sad. Then let it is. Anyway, Yale, you're free to head home now. The worst of the damage is cleaned up, so there's not much you can really help with here. Okay, so that's probably not much why that's more. a new dialogue. Mm. <laughs> He's having yeah. a drink. But what about turning me back into a guy? We're going to pull an all-nighter, but there's no way we're going to have the cure ready by the end of the day. You'll be ready tomorrow afternoon at the absolute earliest. I mean, to be fair, you could just go home and come back <laughs> if they do find the cure. Wait, yeah. what? What am I going to do about tomorrow? I have mandatory lectures I have to attend. Uh, they actually could probably say that you're needed for work or medical reasons. They could actually get the okay for that. Yeah, I can't go to probably. class looking like a girl. Why not? It'll be fun. Because that compromises your research, you stupid the fuck. That too, but also, like, at one point, Lynn is just gonna go back to being the fucking other girl again, isn't she? I hate this. <laughs> no. It won't be fun. No. It'll be terrible. Don't worry so much. It'll be fine. I'll just ring your lectures and explain the situation to them. I'm sure they won't mind. This was all an accident, after all. I want to see that phone call. I want to see that phone call so badly. I want to see that phone call written by somebody that knows how to write. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You, I went after it. No, if anyone sure knows fired. about this, I never hear the end of it. There's no way I could throw... I could... Okay. No, if anyone found out about this, I'd never hear the end of it. There's no way I could show my face in public ever again. Everyone would think I'm a freak, and I would die from embarrassment. I wonder how embarrassed you have to be to actually die from it. That's a good question. Liam, can you keep this a secret for me? Whatever happens, can you promise not to tell anyone that I'm a girl now? Then just have him call and say that you're due to a medical error at the lab or something that you can't show up to lectures. Yeah, I think that's what, what, what Lynn was trying to insinuate, saying that it was all an accident. But of course, she is more entitled to having people say it's Lynn, not Liam. Yeah, I mean, I get, I get, um, y'all's gonna re overreact because, let's face it, with this kind of situation, it'd be more of a surprise if they aren't in that shock point of overreacting to everything said. Lynn's also a dick. Fine, Lynn, can you please keep this a secret? I'll just skip lectures for a few days until you develop a, co a cure. A core, too. You need one. You've got to promise you won't tell anyone. Also, like, like, not even two seconds ago, he was like, I can't, I have mandatory lectures, I can't just miss out on them. Oh, I'll just skip. Well, if, I mean, if you've got a reason, if, the, if your work is calling and stuff, then you can skip it at the same time. Wouldn't they be able, like, if it's a medical reason, I would think they'd be able to email you the stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. I have reported this incident. I have reported this incident to Abaddon Pharmaceuticals. I want to hear the general student body does not find out the details. There's too much money involved anyway. Well, you've got okay. Uh -huh. You've got that gas. That God knows what's happened to it. And you've got a college which is around this lab, right? So that means technically that lab, that entire college, should be on lockdown. Yeah. I. Yeah, I overthought this. What do you want from me? What do you mean there's too much money involved? Y'all, are you retarded? Five shekels. It's a for a pharmaceutical company. What do you... Well, he's only used to, to getting paid to be no way. He, he doesn't know how much money a pharmaceutical company makes. He thinks make. they make a buck fifty. Yeah. Five shekels each. Wow, Lynn actually does something smart for once. 
Yeah, I'll we just accidentally create an explosion to change everybody's genders. If we can if we can find a way to replicate this accident and sell it as a drug to the general public, we could make millions of dollars. You still have to put the fucking entire college in lockdown because you just let out an airborne <sighs> This is how zombie apocalypse starts. True. So you won't need to worry about any leaked information about your gender swap getting out. Oh, I just figured something out. They should make a sequel to this, and hear me out, because the a writer and the artist have gotten better. Make a sequel where the, because of the chemical getting out in the air, just turns everyone into gender swap retarded zombies like these people. And I will actually advertise the fuck out of it if they do it and they make it tongue-in-cheek. Come on, do it. Well, I mean... So, I mean, I've seen people who've managed to make pretty good uh, cutesy art of zombies like Zombie Land Saga. Oh yeah, no, I know. But was imagine it... if they did like a sequel to this mm. and it was completely tongue in cheek, like what happened to the rest of the college because of yeah. the chemicals? Yeah, or like again, you know, what's that other reject demon token? We just don't need to play again. I mean, like the best part is, Did I like... guess this is really infamous from what I understand. So use that infamy yeah. and like the tropes and everything that people have made about this. Use it to their advantage if they do like a mock sequel thing. Even if it's just like a a demo, just to see how people react. That would be really good for them because then there's no embarrassment in this. You make the fact that this is cringeworthy into something in that. Honestly, they're just gonna put all the all the people who've made videos about this into it, and they'll just be be the characters instead. I'm okay oh, no. voicing every character, and then after my line, just going, "I fucking hate this." Yeah, I can gender bend me. Nice. I'll have even bigger tits than I already do. I'll just take there. your icon and I'll put a little bit of lipstick <laughs> on it. Yeah, but that's actually a female icon. Oh shit! Like. That thing is no. I meant the one uh, that you had me use for the videos. Oh, that that thing I stole from that that cartoon by the Three Cavaleros. <laughs> no, no shit, that's actually from a Disney cartoon. <laughs> oh. So you won't have oh, well, shit. So you won't have to worry about any. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, that, that we did that. Of course, there's nothing stopping you from telling anyone. I hope to God if they ever do take my my idea, I want them to mock especially the poses. I want just one character to be the one going. Why the fuck are you people doing those poses? That's not how normal people stand. I want I want the background character that I do to be in the sequel if they do that. I doubt they're gonna do it. No, I'm scruffing the janitor. No, yes. No. 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 Dog just looking at me like, no. what is wrong with you, human? I thought it's not. Just keep a low profile and you'll be no. fine. No. Yet. But that. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, you, you're going to have to attend class. I mean, I could attend it through video. What the fuck do you want from me, man? You just compromise your entire thing if I show up for classes. You understand this? What? Skipping class will just draw attention to yourself. I know the individual has money here and money to attend. You were literally her bot. You mm -mm. We we had this discussion like ten and minutes again, ago. Again, like uh, even two seconds ago, you were all willing to just tell him that there was an accident in the lab, and he could. Yeah, that's um, all you have to do. I think Lynn's just fucking with. Oh great, Lynn's become as sociopathic as uh, Dina. Oh, not as bad. Oh yeah. Like Lynn is like the Harley Quinn to Dina's Joker, pretty much. On the level of sociopathy. It won't be that bad. Just wear a hat or something, on, and nobody will have to notice your sex change. I'm going Except to get in like trouble for this one, changing. but I don't care. Hey, all you trans people! All you have to do is wear a hat, and nobody will notice that you've gotten a sex change. Yeah. I don't care if I get demonetized. A hat and a trench coat. Hats and trench coats. It, it <laughs> works you. for the digital. Fuck you! I was YouTube. about to make that joke. <laughs> or just wear a pair of glasses ninja. like Clark Kent. Yeah, fucking ninja. Oh my god, I wish they had made this tongue-in-cheek because they actually could have used that for a funny-ass plot point thing. Think about it. You could have potentially done so much. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Again. Excuse me? 
Have you seen these boobs? How on earth am I going to cover these up with a hat? Honey, do we have to teach you how hats work? Or oh, what the surgical tape is? No, you get, um... Uh, the tape for, like, uh... Yeah, surgical tape or the uh, ba binding tape that you use, like, when you, you sprain your ankle and stuff. You can wrap your breasts in that and actually be pretty flat. Trust me, I know from experience. Mm. <laughs> what a burn. <laughs> and then that, that big. Fucking roasted, yeah, bitch! Yeah, pretty big to me. <laughs> Don't worry, nobody will notice. Trust me. Lynn's fucking with him. I guess yeah. I don't really have a choice, do I? I could kill all of you right now. Side jail, there's nothing more I can do. Oh. Man, this sucks. Yeah, it does. Everything about today sucks. Hey, at least you I cute. fucking swear the next person that says it. <laughs> That's the... Oh god, that was perfect, Dun -dun. too. <laughs> Despite being discouraged and a little bit pissed off, a little bit, I didn't really have any other option than heading home. I was dreading going to class tomorrow, but what could I do? Reluctantly, I left the lab and walked back to my apartment. And as I walked, one major problem with my new body became apparent. When I walked up the stairs to my room, my breast started heaving around heaving around like crazy under my shirt, and I had to adjust my balance to compensate. Her breasts aren't that big! I was about to say, doesn't that only happen like if you're like running? Yeah, or when you're running you have more like, of an issue. Stumping the yeah, ground. Yeah, when you're like... doing those kinds of movements, yeah, but if you're just going upstairs, no, it's not that bad. No, it's not. I mean, I could maybe, uh, like, it, it was scrape against the, the fabric of the skin, like, irritating, you know, the arborias and all that, but, yeah, not, not, not Yeah, deep. no, like, if you're running up the stairs and you have a big chest, maybe, but if you're just walking, no. I mean, I guess, fair enough, he's not used to it, but your body actually gets used to it pretty quickly, weight-wise. Because, again, it's just part of your body. It's going to be trained to get used to it pretty quick. At that exact yeah. moment, I realized that I just walked the entire way back from the lab without trying to hide my appearance at all. I want to see that scene where you actually tried to hide your appearance with the hat on your breast. I was dreading tomorrow <laughs> so much that I hadn't even occurred to me. We're playing an idiot. I was incredibly lucky that I didn't see anyone around this time of night. If the long hair wasn't obvious enough, my jiggling breast would have been a dead giveaway. So you say that you're a cousin or a family member visiting. Or maybe some sort of girlfriend type deal. Doesn't it does? You know. The janitor returns. <laughs> that could have been bad. What was I thinking? Uh, we've already established nothing. Also, wow, you're. This you're, is my angry you're pose. Fucker, if you're doing that. Look, look at. Look. <laughs> this is my look angry pose. A, get a fucking chair. It's okay though. Uh, look at where his TV and his game is. And then he's just laying there playing it. And uh, that's not even comfortable. Yeah. No, that's actually kind of like bad. I have, a, um, I have a reclining bed. Like, um, the massaging type beds. So it reclines. That I can see. This looks like a normal bed. It's okay, though. I got away with it this time. But if I'm going to go to class tomorrow, I'm going to need a disguise. Oh, God, do it. Do it. <laughs> Make the Ninja Turtles joke for the love of God, do it. I will actually give this yeah, this more, game some points. I was more like, I got away with it this time because there weren't any meddling kids and <laughs> stupid dog. I actually just saw a trade show for uh, horror, like uh, props and stuff like that, and they had like zombie Scooby Doo and stuff. It was pretty cool. I guess I could. Cool. I should show it to you later. I guess I could cut my hair. Nah, it'd be such a shame. Hair grows back. What the fuck are you talking about? In fact, I have to go get a haircut. I'll think of something tomorrow. Hair grows back pretty quick. What are you talking about? I hope. Yeah, but this is super special, awesome uh, chemical hair. We don't know the effects of it. She loses her power if it gets cut. 
I... Probably. Or, like, it'll sprout out and it to become a fucking rainbow. Oh, God. Or, like, a tarantula. I was really haunted by my own thoughts that night. What would happen if I was stuck like this forever? What would be my... What would my friends and family think? Couldn't you just transition into a guy? Like, do the surgery and the hormones and everything? I don't know how how. No, that I'm saying, works. like, theoretically, that's what I, they could do. I know... But I like I know guy to girl is chopping off the dick and giving a bunch of hormone treatments, but I'm not sure if how it works I, for girl to guy. I don't know. I'm sure somebody in the comment section will explain it in the most painful detail possible, just to make everyone grab their dicks and go. Ah. Yeah. What well, I would get would I get used to this, or would I feel this uncomfortable and embarrassed for the rest of my life? Considering the game you're in. I just wanted to get back to normal yes. and put this chapter of my life behind me. Ending one. Fuck you. I, I <laughs> didn't feel any better the following morning either. Nothing miraculous had happened. Aren't you glad about that? And I was still stuck in the body of a curvy teenage girl. You're in college. You're not a teenager. Well, he is I 19. I'm 18. So. They're not considered teens. Hey, hey. No, it's, it says 19. It's only oh, yeah, 20 yeah. because there's you not a teen in it. As depressed as I was, I had yeah. to go to class this morning. It was the only way to keep my new body a secret. But if I was going to go to class, I needed a, some way to hide the fact I had transformed into a girl. Hmm? Oh, this might work. I ended up grabbing an old t-shirt and tying it around my chest. It flattened my breast and made them less noticeable. Get some fucking bindings. But it was really uncomfortable. Yeah, it is. On top of... Well, it depends on how you're... Mm. On top of that, there was still a slight bulge in my clothes. Everybody in the comment section take that joke as you will and go for it. But it was a start. Once again, I can't... I was about to say... Like, in order to hide in bed and wrap in a t-shirt around yourself, like, why not just wear a hoodie? A hoodie covers up pretty much mm -hmm. the entire body anyway. It's really hard. If, if somebody's wearing a hoodie, it's really hard to see whether the yeah, half tits or not. Yeah, if you're wearing the hoodie, all you have to say is you have a cold or something. That's why you're wearing it. Once again, I contemplated yeah. chopping off my hair, but I eventually decided against it. I didn't like short hair on girls, and, and in the off chance I was stuck like this, I'd at least like to look good. Fuck you. It was better to be an attractive girl than an unattractive one, I guess. That entire line. I already know, I already know I'm gonna be called a fucking feminist for that one, but that is the most guy line I've ever seen written. And I'm a chick that usually likes yeah. playing attractive girls, but damn, that is a dude written line. Yeah, we're playing it for the oh. plot, guys. Oh, yeah, no, I totally... <laughs> the sad part is I do have to play most of these games for the plot. Man, that sounded weird. You guys have no idea how boring it gets recording a sex scene for an hour. Actually, you do if you have to watch any of my Uncensored and you actually hear me yawning and going, get on with it. I decided to wear one of my hoodies over my regular clothes. If I kept the hood up, then nobody would notice that my hair was longer. And it was loose enough on my body that it helped hide all of my curves. My new curves. See, he got the hoodie. He ex Yeah, he actually did something smart for once. He could he could have he could have skipped the part with tying a t shirt around himself, but you know He's learning. baby steps. <laughs> I put my old glasses on as well. Even though my eyesight was perfect now thanks to the only positive aspect of my transformation, I didn't want anyone at the university to question why I wasn't wearing glasses anymore. What? You could just say you were wearing contacts also, if you're for wearing fuck's an old sake. Pair of glasses that are prescription. Wouldn't that throw you off balance because um, glasses are, you know, prescription glasses are supposed to do something? Yeah, they're tied to to they they test your eyesight, and if you're like plus two and one eye and minus three and the other one, then the the glasses in the glasses are specifically made by that too. Can't imagine, can't I, just the that, so. I just picture you now and bumping again, into everything. Yeah, and again, just fucking tell people, hey, I started wearing contacts to try it out. That face. He looks like a fucking emo. <laughs> he looks All like he an emo. He does, really. 
just needs the eyeliner and shit. All in all, I'd say I did a pretty good job. I wouldn't pass any close inspections, but to the average person, I look like the same old Yale I'd always been. I might just get away with this after all. With that in mind, I grabbed my laptop and headed to class. I almost instantly began to have second thoughts. I wonder who on campus they commissioned this entire naked mermaid fairy Well, water if it's got thing. an art department, it could very well have been the art students that made it. Like they could have commissioned the school could have commissioned a fountain and the um the art students made it because we've done that like with Ringling Art School they've yeah. done that kind of thing. Yeah, but like what what kind of headmaster went out and looked at the call out and said, You know what this needs? Naked mermaids. Mm. Again, if it's the arts, yeah, they'd have to be given an objective. We wanted dolphins. You got mermaids. Fuck you. Yeah, but again, I just... Wh why do they have to be naked? Because mermaids aren't supposed to be dressed and it's artistic. Like, Believe it or not, that could actually stay uncensored. That's considered art. Yeah. That is. It's an artistic thing. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but but at least fucking Disney at least put a fucking seashell oh, yeah, on Oh, yeah, because you know Argyle. a kid's movie with tits showing it goes so fucking well. I mean, they've. I mean, in the 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 you know the Asterix movies, there, there's an entire scene where you get to see a guy's dick. Yeah, but you see, you guys aren't afraid of the titties. America is afraid of the titties. I never understood that either. That is. That is Maybe cool. I should have gotten that haircut after all. Can barely see this hair in my eyes. Good job. Not even gonna go there. It was incredibly obvious that I was hiding something. I was walking funny and my face was flushed bright red and I stood out like a sore thumb. No, you look like you probably have a cold then. I was wearing a hoodie in the middle of summer. Oh god, you're dying. For crying out loud. T-shirt tying my, my back my breast didn't seem to help all that much either. Of course it didn't. Although my boobs weren't so obvious, they still wobbled underneath. Underneath my hoodie with every step I took. And my hips were swinging and uncontrollably that's not a <laughs> these hips don't lie in a china left I'm not even going to begin to talk about it we're moving on as my <laughs> as my nipples rubbed against my hoodie I started to feel a moist sensation build fucking really build up in my crotch no no guys imagine if that line was go, go for it me. you can read that entire part go for it <laughs> As my nipples rubbed against my hoodie, I started to feel a moist sensation build up in my crotch. I knew what was happening, and needed to go to my lecture calm down as soon as possible before things got out of hand. He's <laughs> skipping an orgasm! I tried walking faster, but that only made things worse. My jiggling breasts increased their rhythm, and it turned me on even more. My face turned an even brighter shade of red. And my whole body felt increasingly hotter and hotter. <laughs> I put Is this the part where I'm supposed to be fapping? I put <laughs> Please don't. If you're fapping to this, we got some issues, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I put any lewd thoughts I oh, had yeah. to the back of my mind and focused all my attention on getting to class in one piece. The sooner I got out of here, the better. Oh, he didn't change the slide. Thankfully, I made it to my Aww. lecture without anyone saying anything to me. Once I sat down in my seat, I started to feel a lot better, and my body gradually calmed down. I had underestimated how sensitive my new body was, and I was going to have to be more careful from now on. Accidentally arousing myself wasn't something I wanted to experience again. Don't guys just get aroused over random shit when they're walking or something? Yep. So why is he surprised by this? Like, I'm not being a smartass. I've heard that from friends. At least not in public. Well, maybe it's because he's, he's never experienced what the female orgasm is. I can't. I can't be a smartass. I don't know the difference between a guy and a girl, so... The lecture hall began hmm. to slowly fill with people, and although I received a few odd looks here and there, nobody said anything to me. I think people were staring at were staring at me more because of the fact I was wearing a hood up inside more than anything. 
I didn't have to move around in class, so my chances of being discovered were pretty low. That being said, I was still incredibly nervous. I, could, I wouldn't be able to bear the humiliation if I was found out. You could have stayed home. Don't even try this. It's now 9 o'clock, yeah. so I'll start the lecture. Today we'll be going over the basics of how transponsons work. I'm not going to try reading them right. Fuck you. I don't even know what the fuck a transponson is. We could Google it, but I'm going to guess it's a Star Trek, a.k.a. Star Trek science. Not real. After three hours of boring course revisions, the lecture drew to a close. I had been pretty nervous when the lecture started, asking the class for answers to some problems, as my new high-pitched voice would have been pretty difficult to explain. I signed the attendance sheet on the way out of class, and I made my way to the lab as discreet as possible. Wait, so did they not have you sign? What the? Hold on. There we go. Yeah, you do usually sign it at the end, of, at the beginning of class. Maybe it's different in colleges. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like the last thing I went to was usually just either either you either crossed off yourself or you know the teacher would do the old time thing. Uh, hey, call our baby yep. by his name. You go like, Hur! because like it, it's not it, 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 you. You're dealing with a bunch of college kids at nine in the morning. They're <laughs> uh, going like, because <laughs> they need to just stand got in formation and do it at fucking seven in the morning. Here. Uh... Yeah. If all went well, I'd have my old body back at the end of the day. I'd certainly be glad to get rid of this anno these annoying breasts, that's for sure. Thankfully, after some quick readjustments, I was able to bind my breasts back tightly enough that they didn't bounce everywhere like they had this morning. It was uncomfortable and a little bit painful, what? but it was the best thing I could do on such short notice. When was it ever established that he had tied he his to do wrist it with the shirt. up? Yeah, yeah, but he's but there's no established he tried to take off the yeah, shirt again. Well, so let's not question it. Huh. But this brought its own share of problems. At first, the pain from binding my breast back so much was tolerable. But after a few minutes of uncomfortable walking, it became completely unbearable. They were throbbing in pain. One, you put it too tightly. Two, try riding a horse or doing fencing like that. I was... Yeah, I used to do fencing. You do fencing? I was worried that huh. if I kept this up, I'd pass out. The lab was on the far side of campus, and I still had a good 20-minute walk ahead of me. Then, oh my... However, the only people walking this way would be staff on their way to the lab, so I wouldn't have to worry about bumping into anyone who wasn't going through the same thing I was. Considering I wouldn't see anyone between here and the lab, I decided that the best course of action would be to remove my breast bindings. I'd already gotten through the worst of the day, and it wasn't like I was going to get found out now. As I undid the t-shirt and released my breast, I felt a huge wave of relief pass over me. I had my body again. parts. My breasts felt a lot better now, and they were no longer compressed against my body. How? How much did he compress them? Although, now they were bouncing around like crazy while I walked. He doesn't have breasts that big! I think, like, they took the script for that and just <laughs> put Dan's got this for it. everybody when it comes to breasts. It occurred to me that I should take my glasses <laughs> off. They got in the way, and now I had a perfect vision. They made everything look really blurry. I would think not only that, but it would give you one hell of a headache. I wasn't going to bump into yep. anyone now, so what did I have to worry about? Oh, yes, yes, yes she is. I know. Well, so I'm just gonna say, like, if you don't wear glasses normally, you put on prescription glasses. That is basically what that looks like. That's pretty much what being drunk as fuck looks like. When you look through prescription glasses without having your own prescription, that's quite a fun. And then you got oh, yeah. fucking headaches. Uh, oh yeah, she used to one who was basically a fucking demon you, for some reason. You can do any so voice you want. No, I like it. How's it going? Crap. I had spoken to Winter a few times in the past. We were both studying the same degree, so I had her 
so I seen her around campus a few times, and I'd even worked with her on a group assignment once, so just pretend you have a sore throat. She was a pretty nice girl, but she always struck me as a little bit weird. She's walking around in fucking cosplay, what do you think? Oh, fuck you, I didn't even read the ending. And the biggest reason was that her <laughs> cosplay obsession. Okay, <laughs> fuck you, game. Fair enough, that one I can deal with. Give me a second. That one I can deal with. Our university didn't have a uniform code, and Winter inter inter interpreted, interpreted that as wear whatever the hell you want, no matter how ridiculous it is. I'm pretty sure at some point the college is going to go after her. A few weeks ago, she had worn a bunny suit to class with the ears and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call an attention whore. This is a bitch that needs attention 24-7. Do not date the attention whore. They will become annoying very quickly. Avoid the attention whore and don't put your dick in crazy. This has been a PSA. You're still going to put your dicks in crazy. But for th <laughs> don't fist but for the pa girls. past few d Damn it, Moko. But for the past few days, Winter had been wearing <laughs> a Japanese schoolgirl outfit. I suspected it was probably a reference to some anime, but I didn't recognize the uniform from anything I'd seen recently. You know, I just realized something. It's never established where on Earth this is actually supposed to take You're place. You're thinking this is on Earth. Also, yeah, do you really want to know what town this would be in? True. Hmm, uh, nah. Hi, Winter. San Francisco. What are... What are you doing here? What was she doing here? I was on a far-flung part of the campus that normally didn't get any foot traffic. Winter didn't have any business at the lab, so there was no reason for her to be here. Had she followed me here for some reason? Regardless of why she was here, this wasn't a good situation to be in. I wasn't wearing my glasses and my breasts were completely unbound. Even though my hoodie was hiding some of my new curves, I definitely had a woman's figure. This was bad. Winter was going to figure out if I had figured out I had turned into a girl, and then everyone at the university would find out too. Maybe <laughs> Oh the horror. horror shit. The fucking faces. Girl. At least the pose is sort of normal. Uh... Like I said, I was just in the area. You sort of turned out from your the jail. Oh, uh, sorry. It, it's been a long day. Yeah, I noticed you were acting strange in class. Oh, was I? Yeah, you sorry. were. I'm gonna turn into fucking Nathan Explosion at this to. point. <laughs> nah, nah. Freaking Sorry. Death Metal Winter is amazing. I'm just really tired. I didn't get much sleep last night and I'll be fine. Dr. Claw. Bitch, go away. You sure you're alright? Yep, I'm totally fine. <laughs> That's the best go part. They didn't establish me trying to hide his voice, which is what I'm trying to do. Hmm. And you're not wearing glasses. Your glasses. Oh my, I'm, uh, I'm wearing contacts. Thank you. <laughs> he doesn't need really? to prove shit to you. You weren't wearing any contacts in class. Come on after class. Ah. Uh... Dun. Is there something you're not telling I, me, Jail? If he's smart, he's gonna tell the bitch to back off. Um, no? I, uh, uh, just the same as always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if you say so, so well, I must have been imagining things. 
I've got things to take care of now. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The second winter turned her back. I ran as fast as possible. I couldn't believe I had slipped up so badly. I was convinced she had figured out I was a girl now. My voice was different. You could see the extra hair under my hoodie. And on top of that, I had these two big breasts bouncing around everywhere. There was no doubt about it. Winter knew I was a girl. Crap. He was going to sizzle me. <laughs> I didn't know me. whether Winter was going to either blackmail me or simply humiliate me by telling everyone at uni about my sex change. But regardless of what Winter had planned, there was only one thing I could do to stop her. If Lynn could turn me back in back to normal today, then Winter would have nothing over me. No one would believe that I had turned into a girl one day and then spontaneously changed back again another a day later. People would call her crazy. Changing back today was my only... Oh, yep. Were you going to say I... something? I'm just wondering, like, how you... Do you, do you, how many lesbian sex jokes do you think we've actually actually made during this recording session? Of all the games, all Better the question, how many are the chat or the comment this? section going to make? I think they can beat us out on this True. one. True. Here's your challenge, guys. <laughs> Changing back today was my only option. With that in mind, I raced back to the lab as fast as I possibly could. could. Uncontrollable boob jiggling be damned. <sighs> You're not in a dead or alive game. Calm your tits. This was bad. <laughs> well, he's trying to. <laughs> Lynn, is there... Is there any news? Can I turn back? Well, Dale, calm down. Did Liam always wear glasses? I think he, yeah, he did. I'm sorry. Being dumb. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure though. You look exhausted. Did you run the whole way here yeah. or something? I guess you really wanted to no change back shit, as soon as bitch. possible, huh? Yeah, of course I do. Being a girl sucks. You you have no idea how bad class was. And if I didn't change, if I don't change back, tomorrow will be worse. I'm just taking a moment to catch a breath. Sorry. Easy now. Do you want a drink yeah, or something? That'd be great. Lynn fetched me a glass of water from the main lab. Once I drank it, I felt a little bit better. Phew. Yeah. Feeling good, good now? Thanks. That's fantastic. Now, yeah, like, you wouldn't mind studying huh? this way. What are we gonna do to her? <laughs> is this bitch hey, now is this? Serum ready? I think th this is the this is the different path than we yeah. took. Holy shit! Wait, her chest is so small. No, that's because she hasn't done that serum. No, I think look, that, she's wearing that the outfit that she gets of in the later part. You know, the thing's because we haven't made a choice to to do the thing we we did with when we was playing when we were playing as Lynn. We had that one choice about like putting an all night or just calling it quits. So ah. I think so anyway. Excellent! <laughs> Derek doesn't really suit me anymore. So, you guys are both wearing girl, girly clothes and using girl names now? <laughs> We're not exactly guys now, Jane. I mean, Might as well act like the it. pad. Right. Anyway. You mentioned something about a serum? Damn right we did. This serum here will get rid of all the contamin contaminants in your body and return you back to your normal self. We just finished purifying it a few minutes ago. Did we get a good ending? It. The results should be interesting. Be nice. Don't drink it. Let's see if it, this works then, shall we? Yeah, I know this sounds really bad. I'm scared. I you don't know what's gonna happen. You made the reversal serum this quickly? I told you we were awesome. Also, like, if you pull an all, all nighter, wouldn't it be sort of easy just to reverse did. engineer, you know, the serums? 
Yeah, so seeing as, you know, they, you have it all written down, hopefully, seeing as you're fucking scientists. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, the ex explosion made Dina and I think a smart at science. Oh, good, they're Marvel characters. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, that makes more sense. We're making big things Really? How does that anywhere. work? Don't, mm. God, don't make them explain shit anymore. <laughs> Gamma radiation in the brain. Like, isn't that one of the Hulk's enemies, like, Brainiac or some shit? No, that, that's Superman. I, I know I who your mastermind, guys, I think it so. is. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, this green guy who's like the Hulk, but he's instead mastermind. of being super strong, he's just super smart. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of looks like one of those scroll characters. I don't know, I guess it's just something that came within the swap. Do it and you got it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to say more. anything. I'm not going to say anything. Like the bright red hair and these big bouncy the boots of mine. Explode. I wish I had become super smart. Don't worry about it. It's not as fun as it so, sounds. So yeah, all ready to turn back to normal. Wait, 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 wait. Have you done any testing yet? <laughs> oh, baby, you're the only one they're testing it on. It turned her into a fucking sociopath. Oh fuck! Wait, 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 wait. Ah, relax. Of course, really? we tested it. Because for some reason, I don't believe you. This is my angry pose. Don't worry, it's totally safe. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about this. What's it gonna I be, Yale? Down, you don't know how to give the player choices, do you? Excellent. How does this work exactly? Yeah, pressure is good. <laughs> but it makes you just reading this and just thinking like, wouldn't they need to cause another explosion with the gas in order to do? Uh. The serum moves the active ingredient responsible for your ginger switch will cause your body to return to normal. Your body will transform like before, but this time it'll be in the opposite direction. So it'll definitely work? Yeah, I'm sure it'll work. Now stay Lynn still. Lynn pulled a syringe out from under her coat and injected it directly into my veins. Ow. Come on, it wasn't that oh, bad. My chest! Ah. Look, I'm too tired to give a lot of ground. Ah, fuck. Ah, I am my scared. chest! Ah. I'm so scared. My, my breasts! You dicks! Ah. Uh oh. Oh, whoop, no, that's your line. Uh oh. <laughs> that is the face that you have 10 seconds to run. Hmm. That was unexpected. What the hell did you do to me? You notice Dina's not around, right? I don't know. Yeah, but I also know that this exact thing, this is what Dina just did so, while Lynn was talking to, to Dad and Bree. Well, so basically, we've, we've just gone down the, the bath. The, by not, not by playing Yale's route, we're not getting to do the choice of actually being a sort of competent scientist with Lynn. I look like a freak. I have freaking giant boobs. No, you don't look like a freak at all. You look super sexy. <laughs> Dina, just shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> you do too realize she's going to me. fucking murder you. No, I wouldn't go that far. No, it's not the time, What Lynn. a bitch. What the hell did you inject me with? The gender reversal serum, I thought it would work. I'm really, sorry. really are sorry. are you kidding? Look at these. They're even bigger than Dan's are. No, they're not. Yeah, and that's saying something. No, they're not. Dan's are bigger. Why am I fighting about this? 
Also, like, he, 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 if if he's just getting, uh, you know, two Ace chromosomes, then getting another one injected into him, doesn't that mean he has... Bounds? I'm okay with this idea. <laughs> they yes, had one they, before they, they all have an this. extra chromosome. That, that, that's why. They, they have extra chromosomes, that's why. Mm, that explains why they look like this and bent the way they do. Especially Dina. You can't get over that fucking pose. Huh. Obviously, I have no idea why this happened. And the serum he gave you should have removed the gender modifier from your body and turned you back to normal. Was case scenario that would have done nothing for you and left you as a girl. I think we need to stop here. <laughs> we'll see you guys Let's next time. Bit. We're gonna go save what little sanity we have left. Bye, guys. This is a no -go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no -go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me so put your hand in mine. Follow me, let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat, let me waste your time. Solving top of time.